Game number three on Heavy Rain. Starting to the top of the map for Alien Invasion. We have Kr, and he is in a situation where he won game number one against his Terran opponent and then on Habitation Station lost the map. Now we have him in the third game here in the best of three at the Winamax Expresso Invitational here. And uh, starting to the bottom of the map, we have for Mouse Boards, Hero Marine, the German player, the youngster. And he played a very aggressive and absolutely incredible game, number two. Very well played. It was actually interesting to see that we had two very different games. Game number one, more dominated by Kr, the Alien Invasion player, doing a great job there and really working with the upgrade advantage that he was able to get himself. But then in game number two, Hero Marine, with all that pressure, just doing a little bit too much and he decides to go into the gas uh, first once again here on this third map. And the one thing that really was able to amaze in game number two was just how well he dealt or how well he used all those vi uh, uh, sorry medivacs that he had. Drops in the main uh, at two positions at once, going straight for the natural again, attacking with another force at the front. It was really quite something and the multitasking of Kr just wasn't able to hold up with this, at least not in game number two. Habitation Station of course lent itself also to this kind of style, but the Protoss player played a very impressive first game and uh, took that quite easily. So let's see if Hero Marine is able to just copy what he did in the second game or if Kr is gonna finish out this series with the 2-1 in his favor and therefore puts the first point onto the scoreboard for Alien Invasion. Overall score in uh, this uh, team tournament is still 0-0. We are at the finals here. Alien Invasion versus Mouse Boards. And Mouse Boards, for all of you who did not get the memo, they don't have the anymore in the lineup. So they are currently relying in this match on Hero Marine. They rely on uh, Starbuck on uh, Hazo Ops and also on uh, Vortex of course. Vortex versus Patience would actually be the last game and we have a couple of legs in here. I hope that our finished streamer is okay. And yeah, seems to be alright again. So for now we have the factory being built. Of course with the first gas that he has here. That's definitely what you want to do. Get that early tech out once more. And this time you, we do not have a tech from, we do not have a scout from Kr. So a little bit of a difference when you compare to what we had on Habitation Station. Kr instead just starts with his Nexus. There, no questions asked. Didn't send that prop cross map. In step we have the SCV just having a look uh, here to the top left. And therefore, it's gonna be uh, interesting to see how Hero Marine is gonna play this because this might very well blindside Kr if he doesn't get any scouting information. I don't see how he would be able to do that. Most likely starting things off with a robo here and then trying to get the information with the observer, but that might be a little bit too late for him. He doesn't even know that there is no expansion at this point. There's the starport already and we have the Widow Mine being built, so it looks more and more like we're gonna see that Widow Mine drop once again. Whereas we have at least with a probe the attempt to uh, scout what's going on and not only that he's actually putting in a forward pylon here very interesting with the probe lingering around it looks more and more like we might see a bit of a proxy here not hitting the perfect timing for that since the cybernetics score is of course already completed so for example a tech that was very very popular on maps like this was especially the stargate tech and then an oracle in a proxy location and we have that stargate it is to the left side of the map so that's going to be an interesting game to see now. We have a probe, a stalker actually going across map and trying to find out what's happening there. And for both of them, it could be a very, very difficult situation to defend because Hero Marine is going to attempt to send those units to the top left and then really take down the mineral line. And there's not a whole lot for Kr to defend if he is investing into the Stargate now here at the bottom, is then going for an Oracle and at the same time as units already over there. Once more, the Widow Mine getting its hit off against the stalker and taking it down. So here we have the drop, but that also exposes the mineral line here for Hero Marine. There's nothing that he can really rely upon to defend against the Oracle that we are sure to see now. The Stargate is already done and the Oracle is on the way. It means though that we have all the way back at home no detection for Kr. So I am not quite sure that's gonna fan out now. We have at least the Widow Mine, but the Widow Mine is walking cross map now as well. No, it's actually just going into the front and trying to control the choke point here. Expansion is being built all the way to the top. We already have this situation once again with a bunker here. Where is that Widow Mine? The Widow Mine is still in the medivac. And it looks more and more like at least that Stalker is gonna die here. Yes, Stalker goes down. Oh, that 
was maybe a bit of an oversight, could have probably done a bit more with that. But the bunker is going to finish and that will kill that Nexus for sure. The problem is that here comes the Oracle and where's the Antia? Guess what? There is none. This Oracle is going to... This Oracle is going to rip Hero Marine a new one. I mean, he's moving in with seven kills already. There are two Marines and there's, of course, the Widow Mine. If he can somehow kill it, then he will have a good chance. And yes, he's trying to bait it in and he gets the kill off. Very well done. So here, Marine losing a few harvesters here, nine in total, but he's at least able to kill his opponent's Nexus and also took down not only the Oracle, but an additional Stalker all the way at the top. Here comes that Observer, and if he saw that, he might even be able to use the scan to take it down to make sure that that Widow Mine is able to do a little bit more damage later on, but for now it's just a drop into the main base, trying to make that work, and there are only a few Zealots, there's nothing else to defend against this. The Oracle at the bottom right, the second one, is getting even more kills right now, and that might be able, nine kills in total for that, for this one by the way, and that puts the kill count up to 14 for now. So both of them really just at each other's throat. And we have now 15 harvesters against 34 in favor of the alien invasion player. Hero Marine is so far behind in harvesters. It's really just this oracle that does so much damage. And Hero Marine doing whatever he can, but this is going to be quite difficult for him. The one major advantage... Whoa, is he going to be able to get that? Most likely he will. He's trying to, and yes, he gets the Immortal and can now move back without losing too much against the Stalkers. But as I was saying, the one big advantage that he has is double mule and two bases. So right now, if he can avoid too much further damage by the Oracle, he's actually not in that bad of a position if you think about it because the mules will really be able to do a quite a bit for him. But he lost so many harvesters. He lost 16 in total. It's really just about his ability to get the SCVs now back into the game, to keep that Oracle at bay, and to make sure that he is mining from two mineral patch, uh, mineral lines. Because, to be quite honest with you, having those harvesters is nice and all, but he needs to really saturate two mineral lines if he wants to make that work. And by now, Krill also, of course, identified that he's the one with a bigger army as well. And at this point, five supply can really make all the difference. Especially if you have an Oracle moving in while the main army is distracting uh, the Terran player. So, Krill, with the additional tech here, all the way back at home with the robotics, we have also missile turrets and we have a few additional widow mines being built but can you hold against this that one immortal alone is already going to do a lot of damage against the uh, one marauder that's being built right now and marines alone are they're going to cut it right at this point we do not have to have stim and here come the scvs Krr just identifying this chance that he has and he wants to move in he wants to finish the game press that advantage as long as he has it and not give the town player the chance to come back into the game but Mario Marine is playing this very, very safe right now. He's really trying to stay as passive as he possibly can. And we have the Oracle trying to move into the mineral line in the main base once more. But at this point, at least, we have the missile turret, but the Oracle doesn't catch much about that. Kills a few additional harvesters. 15 kills on this one already. Very, very well done. Hero Marine just trying to catch up again. And his dip is nearly completed, so at least that's going to help him. But he's going to be up against Colossi very soon. Extended Thermal Lance is already on the way. One third completed. Whereas we see two at the top left. Also, of course, the expansion by now rebuilt. Oracle somehow escapes with four hit points here. Was uh, spotted by the double drop that we have there. And, well, maybe the uh, Widow Mine can take it out in the end, but for now it's 27 Harvesters against 45. And this is kind of the time when Hero Marine says, yeah, I need to do something. I can't just sit tight and wait and hope for the best. I need to do something here, and I need to do it fast. Supply so block here for Hero Marine. And the Oracle, with its 15 kills, not only a master, but also still a threat to the Terran player. The drop might happen into the main base, whereas we have another probe on the way forward. Here comes the drop, trying to move into the main, and that's something that he can definitely pull off. But the problem is that he's already eagerly awaited by a Colossus, by the Photonova charge, and wah, by a few stalkers that nearly got the kill off against the Medibag. But not quite. So, looking at the upgrades for now, let's take a little bit of a look at the status quo, at the state of the game here. We have Stim against uh, a single Warp Gate upgrade, so nothing else. No Forges at this point. 
for the uh, player to the top left, who was the entire series really determined to get that upgrade lead. This time it is Hero Marine who is trying to get that chance. He's going into the plus one upgrade. We are having with the combat shields on the way. The one thing that he desperately needs is something against those Colossi. Because, let's face it, he doesn't have Vikings just yet. And he's building them, or he will build them. Oh no, he actually goes into Vikings instead. Sorry, into Medivacs instead. I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. No additional kills for the Oracle. But this army is just so strong. And Colossi against no Vikings. There's just no Antia against this. And as long as he can really just use those gateway units at the front to make sure that he shields those Colossi, it should be absolutely devastating. Yeah, he can't move out. He's trying to occupy his opponent, but this is a problem. 74 army supply against 55. Hero Marine, he's already lifting. There's the third Colossus. He's moving back, but this is a desperate attempt to win that game. He's losing everything here. The SCVs, the Marines, the Marauders. This is game. This is putting the first point on the scoreboard for his team. Alien Invasion goes in lead. They take the lead here with a 1-0 in the overall series after Kr wins his best of three series against Hero Marine.